Disclaimer, we do not claim the outcome of this fictional fight to be factual. Any battle can end with any outcome, depending on the circumstances. We are simply choosing the most likely outcome and the one that will fit the most circumstances. So be kind in the comments and remember that we love you. Enjoy the video. Fictional fight rules! No prep time. No outside help unless it is a major part in a character, like Pikachu and Ash, Jack and Daxter, or Gara and his mother Sam. Non-canon events will be included as long as they are not contradicted by the main canon. It doesn't matter if you're as cute as a puppy or as adorable as a cat. Looks can be deceiving. The puppy could turn out to be an alien who beats up bigger whale aliens. And the cat may turn out to actually be a scaly, fire-breathing death machine. Stitch and Toothless, the cute and cuddly, but deadly and dangerous. Which one of these, pets, will win in a battle to the death? This is Fictional Fights! Jumba Jugiba, the idiot scientist. I prefer to be called Evil Genius! Right. <clears throat> The evil genius created a series of experiments with destructive capabilities. But the most powerful and dangerous one is Experiment 626. You may know him as Stitch. Stitch was designed by Jumbo with the only purpose being to destroy everything he touches. But when he crash landed on a little island with nothing to destroy, he ended up meeting a little girl and found a new purpose. His new purpose being to keep his family together and protect them. And he's more capable of doing that. Stitch was designed to be bulletproof, and he's smart enough to think faster than a supercomputer. And you! Then again, anyone could think faster than that. Says the one who dropped out of high school and begged me to be my co-host. Oh, come on, man! Why'd you have to go there? Do you take it back? It was a perfectly clever insult, so of course not! Stitch is capable of lifting 3,000 times his own weight, meaning that if he's even just a measly 35 pounds, he could lift over 100,000 pounds. That's about 45 metric tons, enough to lift two steamrollers and an elephant at the same time. Speaking of elephants, one time at the zoo, Vic- Okay, okay, I take it back, I take it back! Not that story. <laughs> That's what I thought. Ahem, <clears throat> man there's a lot of throat clearing on this show. Stitch is fast enough to dodge shots from a plasma gun, and his claws allow him to climb walls and tear metal. He's an expert pilot, he has advanced hearing, smelling, and eyesight, but he also has one giant weakness. And what a perfect weakness to have on an island surrounded by water! Stitch cannot swim, or even stay afloat for that matter. His molecular density is just too great. Even if the water was only three feet deep, he'd most likely still drown due to how difficult it'd be to get out. Also, because his advanced vision is so great, bright lights and flashes, like one you'd get from a camera, can hurt his eyes and stun him. Stunning him would only delay the inevitable though, you'd never have enough time to take this guy out. Like I mentioned before, Stitch is bulletproof, not that you'd be able to shoot him in the first place, since he can react to plasma shots. <laughs> He effortlessly lifted a car and a giant whale dude! He survived an explosion powerful enough to destroy a large house, and even more insane than that. He launched himself into a ship by causing a gasoline explosion in a volcano. He's an excellent pilot and even became captain of a space crew! And that was after he and Lilo recaptured all 600 plus of Jumba's other experiments, in a surprisingly short amount of time. He's a tough alien with a bad mouth. Let's see how menacing he is compared to Toothless. Tell me, my little one-eyed one, on what poor, pitiful, defenseless planet has my monstrosity been unleashed? There are many species of dragons, but none are more feared than the Night Fury. For many, many years, no one had even seen one of them. That is, until a young boy by the name of Hiccup somehow managed to shoot one out of the sky. 
Instead of just finishing off the dragon and getting all the lady vikings, which is what I would have done by the way, he decided to spare it. Hiccup spared this night fury and soon began to tame the wild dragon. He even named it! It's a very misleading name, but he called the dragon Toothless. At first it seemed as though the dragon had no teeth, but then BAM! Now that fish is double dead. The retractable teeth are most likely used to lure prey into thinking the Night Fury is harmless. I don't know why he even bothers, he's fast enough to catch them anyways. The Night Fury can fly faster than the eye can see, and ever reach speeds faster than sound. The only way they can be detected is by the whistling of the wind as they zoom by. It should also be mentioned that due to an injury, Toothless cannot fly without a rider, so we're giving him Hiccup. Hiccup will only assist in flying and strategy here, he is not allowed to carry weapons of his own. This is the dragon's fight. Hiccup will be there to help Toothless steer clear of any of his weaknesses. Dragons have a fear of eels, they get distracted by tall grass, and have a sensitive spot in their back that can put them to sleep when scratched. Thanks to his injury, Toothless can't swim, but he can still fly even when his wings are wet. Toothless has incredible agility in the air. Even at insane speeds he travels, he is still able to travel through tight spaces. And of course, because he's a dragon, the third one out of six episodes we've had on fictional fights, he can breathe fire. Jeez, Leopold, we know you think dragons are cool, but this is overkill. Anyways, Toothless doesn't shoot ordinary fireballs. His fireballs travel faster than he flies and can even create shockwaves upon impact. The fireballs also create clouds of smoke to block the vision of its foe, and his fire gets even more powerful once he enters alpha mode. The alpha mode is used when Toothless challenges another dragon for dominance. His scales glow all blue and he gets all scary, Ooh! While in his alpha mode, Toothless was not only able to tank a shot from the 100 foot tall bewildered beast, but he was also powerful enough to defeat it, and break of its tusk, even without Hiccup's aid. Before that, he was even able to defeat the Red Death! While not as big as the Bewilder Beast, it was almost as fast as Toothless, and just as deadly as the Bewilder Beast. By defeating these beastly dragons, Toothless became the new Alpha Dragon and continued his adventures with Hiccup. He deserves to be Alpha too. He survived high falls, defeated almost every other dragon, and he broke out of mind control. He's been completely frozen inside a very thick layer of ice and was still able to break out of it. When Hiccup and Toothless put their heads together, they can do almost anything. Let's see if defeating Stitch is part of that anything. It's time for a fictional fight! The battle begins in a grassy field. Hiccup and Toothless had just landed from a test flight and are getting ready to head back home. And that's when Stitch shows up. He believes Toothless is one of Jumbo's experiments. He thinks he must have missed one. However, Hiccup is not eager to let Stitch just take Toothless like that. So, Hiccup hops on and they prepare to battle. Based on Stitch's size, Toothless assumes that he's not a threat and decides to charge head on at the creature. When Toothless is just inches away from Stitch, Stitch leaps up and grabs onto the dragon, crawling all over him and leaving scratches with his claws. Toothless then flings Hiccup off his back in an attempt to crush Stitch with his own weight by rolling around. Eventually the tussle leads to a position where Toothless is on top of Stitch. He grabs the little alien and starts flying him around, preparing to drop him. Toothless lets go, and Stitch slides down Toothless's body, grabbing onto his tail and taking the dragon down with him. The two slam into the ground and quickly recover back on their feet. Assuming that Stitch wouldn't be smart enough to understand, Hiccup begins giving Toothless commands to take down the little creature. Toothless slowly paces towards Stitch, shooting fireballs left and right to slowly corner the creature. Once Stitch is trapped, Toothless then shoots out a fireball right at Stitch. Stitch takes the hit and goes flying across the battlefield, skidding to a cliff where he almost falls off. Toothless wastes no time and starts charging at Stitch. He lunges in the air, and Stitch reveals that he had caught the fireball, throwing it right back at Toothless and knocking him off the cliff instead. Toothless hits his head on the way down, knocking him unconscious as he falls to the water and drowns. The winner is Stitch. And that's a loss for the dragon. Oh look Leo, your precious dragon lost. Maybe if you didn't let the lamest dragon ever win in episode 3, he would have fought better. I doubt it. Toothless didn't stand a chance. Oh nice try, the big scary dragon is no match for a child sized alien. Come on. No, I'm serious. Stitch is fast enough to dodge plasma shots from guns and even large ships. But Toothless's fireballs move faster than sound and make shockwaves. If you remember, Stitch survived a gasoline explosion in a volcano that sent him flying towards a ship, fast enough to cause a sonic boom. If Toothless managed to hit Stitch, it most likely wouldn't do much.
but there's the water thing! Stitch can't swim! Toothless could just carry him to water and drown him, right? Well, of course he could carry Stitch, but who said Stitch would let him? Stitch can lift 3,000 times his own weight, so breaking out of the Knife Fury's grip would be child's play to him. Okay, okay, so Stitch is safe from Toothless, but how would Stitch be able to kill him? The Vikings have killed thousands of dragons with weapons made of stone and metal. And with Stitch's claws being able to effortlessly cut through the material... He'd have that dragon all sliced up for Viking Thanksgiving! Right, any attacks that Toothless has just doesn't scale up to what Stitch has survived. And Stitch himself has all the tools to get the job done. Looks like we'll be dragging Toothless's body to the graveyard! Alright, I've put up with your puns for five episodes now, but that was just too awful! Anyways, the winner is Stitch! I found it all on my own. It's little and broken, but still good. Yeah, still good. Get ready for the next battle.